Proud that you are here. She's amazed that you've achieved this, and, and, and now you're in Belgium doing the convention. How cool is that? It's it's fantastic. I mean, honestly, the being on Once Upon a Time has has changed my life, and it's been such an amazing experience. I've learned so much, and I wouldn't change any of it. It's been amazing. It's shaped me to be the person I am today. Cool. How many of these shows do you do? Do you do them often? Um, I hear we have. Like when I was, I did one a few years ago, and because I was still like pretty young, I mean, <laughs> younger than I am now. Um, it it like it didn't phase me, and it was one of those things where I barely remember it. But at, over the past uh, year, I've done a few of these, and every time it's just. Incredible. I get to meet the fans and talk to them and have an amazing time and it's funny because I'm usually just as nervous as some of you guys are. Um, and these conventions are such an amazing experience, partly because I'm a huge fan of all this stuff too. I, I come here and I want to wander around and buy stuff and be like, oh my goodness, that cosplay is so amazing! <laughs> and. Uh, it's, it's great, and it's an amazing experience that I absolutely love. There we go. <laughs> you said that you learned a lot on Once Upon a Time. What is one memorable thing or one memorable moment that you... that you... something that you learned that you'll remember forever? I mean, as for acting, I've learned so much from the show. I, just like little tri tips and tricks to make you a better actor and to kind of like, enhance your performance, I guess. I mean, like, the most obvious thing that I've had so many people tell me through my acting career is just be natural, be yourself, and don't be nervous, have fun. Of course, I'm always nervous, that's, that's a, a small thing I have. Um, but as for, like, important lessons, I've learned a lot of real-life lessons from the show, and uh, to be honest, I've learned a lot of things from Henry as a character. Um, I myself have pretty bad anxiety, and from Henry, I've, I've kind of learned to always see the best in things, and always know that things happen for a reason, and you're going to have a happy ending, and uh, that's something that has been really helpful for me to know, especially in times when I wasn't always the happiest, it was, you know, kind of dark, but the show and working on it and all the people there, they kind of helped me, help us see the light. So yeah. Would you like ever want to do stage work or do you want to stay in TV or film? Um, it's interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm, as of now, I'm, uh, I'm 17 years old and uh, it's funny because uh, 17 is kind of an awkward age for acting. Because they're like, well, we want someone who's 18 to play that role, but, um, you know, you kind of, you're kind of good at it, so um, we'll have to think about it. Um, so, I'm, I'm in this really interesting spot where I can take my career in a, a few different ways. I mean, right now, I am fascinated by, uh, by voice acting. It's something I really want to get into, uh, seeing as I'm a, a huge gamer and a fan of anime and animation and all that kind of stuff. That's a side of the industry I'm fascinated by and want to get into. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, as you can see right now, I'm wearing an Overwatch shirt. So like, my my dream, my, like one of my dreams is like, I, if I could voice a character in Overwatch, if I could voice a new hero, that would be like top of the line, like career highlight. I couldn't beat that. Um, but also, I, I'm, my, my second passion is, is writing. I, I want to be a writer, and uh, which is funny because Henry the author, so haha. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> life, life mimics art, you know, that sort of stuff. So uh, that's another thing I want to expand into. I, I write a lot of science fiction and fantasy stuff, and yeah. Yes, totally. I, I, I might possibly have plans for it already.
maybe a little bit. I, I was I was making a, a, a not a joke. I was being almost 100 percent serious about it. I was like, I need to just like cosplay one of these times at one of these conventions. Just like sit at my booth signing autographs and in full cosplay, and they'll be like, Hey, uh, that's not even from your show. I'm like, Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, if, if I could, I, I'd walk around in a mask, just be like. I mean, someone suggested Reaper, so I could just be like, die, die, die. <laughs> Nobody would know. Um, who's your favorite uh, Attack on Titan character? Well, it's hard to say, because uh, I like Eren. I like Eren, but I think he's kind of an idiot. So my favorite, my favorite character is, in that case, a tie between Levi and Mikasa. Hi. Um, I have a question. Um, when it comes to acting, um, who from the cast of Once Upon a Time do you look up to most? It's it's hard to say because I I've looked up to so many of the cast members and I think that all of them are such amazing actors. But as for like personally, who's taught me the most and who I think I've I've learned the most from has been either Lana or uh, Robert Carlyle. I've learned so much from the both of them, and respect both of them, and see them both as kind of mentors. And while there's been so many other people on the show that I've learned so much from, I think they're the two that stand above. In my head for, you know, weeks after I filmed the scene and saw the episode was the, uh, was the final song. Where, the song where I have one line in, and every time I hear the line, it makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> but, uh... For some reason, I am totally blanking on the title of the song. I am so sorry, but it was the final song, and it was yeah. one of the one of the two songs in the episode I actually got to personally work on, and it was great. It was so fun. Hi. Hello. Um, <laughs> again. Again. <laughs> um, did they ever prank you on set, or did you ever prank someone on set? And what was your favorite prank? They tried. And they failed. <laughs> but, um, nah, no one ever really tried pranking me. Uh, I, I, I never really tried pranking me anyone either. I mean, I had this running gag for a while where I, I on, on set, I have, an, I have an on-set tutor. So it was just me and her, her in our, like, schoolroom. So we had this joke of making a, a class, the class president. And every, every, every few months we'd have an election. And this one time it was between Colin and Josh. And... Josh was just running around as much as he could, trying to trying to get votes. Like, like I, I was like, okay, Josh, you're taking this a little bit too far. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm going to be president. I'm going to be Colin. And uh, at the end, we were tallying the votes, and I guess we miscounted, and we thought that Josh had won, but Colin had won. And uh, it was this whole fiasco that ended in disaster. But uh, in the end, Colin became our class president, and Josh was not happy. <laughs> is Jon Snow. But, but, Arya and Daenerys are pretty close. They're like, very close second and thirds. So, um, are you planning or are you thinking about coming back to another Belgian convention sometimes? Uh, I, currently I am not planning it, but I would absolutely love to. I mean, I absolutely love these conventions and I would love to get another chance to come back. So we're in the boat, we're the same age, I'm 17 as well. Um, I'm still in school, I guess you are too. Uh, do you have like any plans on like going to college? And how do you combine like acting and school? Combining acting and school is hard. I mean, it's one of those things where it's hard to kind of switch from that acting mindset to that school mindset. Because they're totally different. I mean, for school, you kind of have to be read this, read that, remember this, sign this, read that, write that, this plus that equals three. Um, <laughs> but it, for acting, it's one of the things where you have to be creative and natural and let things flow. So it's it's really hard. And I have an onset tutor, and I, I did get through a lot of a lot of stuff. And she, Miss Rachel, she she was my teacher. She was amazing, and she taught me so much. And I'm a more more smartical person because of her. There we go. But um, as for school, I, I'm planning to go to film school. 
Uh, I mean, I want to take some courses as for writing and screenplay writing. I want to take a few courses on, you know, directing, camera work, because I, honestly, I love the industry. I don't just love acting. I love, I love so many parts of it. I love acting. I love camera work. I love directing. I love all that little stuff, and it's it's amazing. But uh, I mean, okay. I, I won't lie, I've taken one thing from the set. I've borrowed, i borrowed one thing from the set. Um, I had to, I, I borrowed a magic bean, you know, just, just in case I ever need to go to some alternate reality or, you know, go to some other place and time and space and crazy weird stuff like that. But I had this running joke to last season that I was going to borrow the peacoat and uh, burn it. I was like, you know what? This peacoat has kept me warm for six seasons and I can't stand it. Let's burn it. Um, hi. Hello. Um, I was wondering, if you weren't on the show, would it be something that you would, you know, watch and enjoy? Well, I'm gonna put it this way. As soon as that I am on the show, and I, I do love the show, and I have seen, you know, bits and pieces, but I'm not like a religious watcher of it, I won't lie. But, if I wasn't on the show, I'd probably be too busy playing video games and with school to watch any TV. Um, but I think it, it would be something that I would be interested in. It'd be something that I'd definitely check out and, you know, binge watch on Netflix at some point. And then get super weird and obsessive and be like, this is happening, that's happening, conspiracy theory!